Kenshi 1 has become a very big game in the grand scale of things. To a lot of people, it's sort of like their own single player World of Warcraft. To others that play it, it might just be more reminiscent of a, a mean high school X. Alright, but in a world where we're placed and it's all based on our own choices and actions that not only we make, but the world decides to make around us and for us, Kenshi truly has provided an experience that is way more unique than a lot of other games. Even though I can't really compare Kenshi to other games, if I try and compare it to something that it's kinda like, like I don't know, RimWorld, The Sims, and Mountain Blade mixed together, it still doesn't feel right. Kenshi just has a lot to offer in my opinion with the lore, the mods, the gameplay alone. Now, even over a year after Kenshi's release, there's still a lot of players like myself continuing to play the game, pick it up every now and then, or stay in hype for Kenshi 2. So today, that's what I'm here to talk about. I want to go over a lot of my Kenshi 2 wish list or sort of like ideas I've come up with. I've been making Kenshi videos for almost about a year now. So not only have I just been playing the game, editing it and everything a lot, I've also just been looking at a lot of what the community has been saying about the game. So these are the ways that I think maybe Kenshi can improve for Kenshi 2 to make the game a more immersive, fun, and just better experience. Before I go into this though, this is all on my opinion. I might have looked at some things other people have said, but I've really tried to come up with things that I really think uh, need to be talked about for the game. Either way, this is all just sort of like for fun and speculation, and I throw some ideas out there for the hype train, so hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get into it. So I'm gonna slap this B like right away. To begin with Kenshi 2, we need to have Kenshi 2 not be leggy, choppy, or just fucking crashing every day. As a formal console gamer, I'm still on PC, but I'm not defending any games for being unoptimized or just unplayable. Unfortunately, our crack addict of a son that we call Kenshi just can't fucking do it, and we just gotta put up with it. Alright, I'd say the game is about on the edge of being playable and being a fucking waste of time. Now, with Kenshi 2 though, I do believe because it's being built on the Unreal Engine instead of the Ogre Engine, which was designed specifically for Kenshi, this should mean that it won't be as laggy. Now, I'm no video game developer. All I know is what I can read online and kind of fucking formulate in my mind and get through. But I do think with the Unreal Engine, the world composition is what I'm hearing is going to help a lot. Essentially, if we can have a world just not load like it does currently, you know, or like sometimes when you load into an area and it just completely crash, it kind of ruins the experience big time. So yeah, I think everybody can agree if the game's more well optimized, it'll just be a way better experience for all the players. Now that goes into graphics. Now graphics to me in Kenshi 1 aren't horrible. I kind of prefer it over something like Prison Architect or RimWorld. I really do like sort of like the minimalistic realistic look but if we can go for something more like a mountain blade went up to the newest game that they released if kenshi 2 would be able to have just some really nice graphics better character models less like unrealistic ogre looking ones i think that would honestly be dope the graphics are kind of a haul back for some players especially when you look at the world while the game looks pretty at some points you know it looks like fucking shit out of us if Kenshi 2 just looks a little bit better and more up to date with other games, then I'm sure that'll help it out a lot. With better graphics, I am thinking they'll have better animations and maybe your clothes won't clip as much. What I'm really looking for is head decatapitation, baby! What the hell? Why don't we have this in Kenshi 1? I'm sure there's a reason that I haven't fucking looked at. Okay, so like the Fallout games, they've had it in the 3D ones. They have it in Shadow of War where you can chop off an orc's head. I think with a way that your body limbs can be dismembered once they go under a certain amount of HP, why can't the same happen to your head? Sort of like a fatality execution or something. Or there could be a crazy animation that plays when the character is about to like perma kill another character. Just an idea, but I do definitely think at the very least, something like your head should chop off or like if your chest gets completely ruined, maybe it cuts in half. Okay, now I want to move into more gameplay focused type of stuff. The N. NPCs, specifically the relationships that the NPCs sort of have with each other as characters and factions. There's no doubt, the factions are definitely a huge highlight in Kenshi 1. With the Holy Nation, United Cities, you got the Skeletons, Hiver, Shek. While factions can have different relationships with other factions, I really do think that it'd be pretty cool to see some of these factions be able to have certain characters who can have their own relationships. Oblivion, every NPC would have a name and then like something they'd say or like a house. 
I don't think that can really be done in Kenshi if you want the world to be super big. What I do think is maybe if it took something more like a Shadow of War concept where you have one person who rules the faction, then you say have a few captains or few people under him. All these underlings that he has, you know, you can end up either like killing them or recruiting them or maybe just doing random shit with them to sort of impact the flow of battle when you go to say raid that city. I just don't know really how it would work. Like, I'm not a video game developer, I can only imagine making all these game concepts work and how difficult and a bitch it would be. But if there were, say, ways to, I don't know, like, raid someone like Lordy Naba or someone like that, and then convince them to join your side, then when you're attacking the United Cities, it's a little bit easier, that'd be pretty crazy. Next, I want to talk about the animals of Kenshi. Now, you can't really actually recruit a lot of animals in Kenshi. Stuff like Leviathans, Beak Things, and Crimpers, they're just sort of off limits. Now, while the animals like the Garus, the Bulls, and say the River Raptors, they're all kind of common type of animals. We should be able to recruit them at ease. I do think for stuff like Leviathans, Beak Things, or say Crimpers, we should be able to also recruit them. I'm not sure if it should necessarily be just by taking one down, or maybe you have to have a certain skill level in order to recruit them. Having a way to do that would be really big, as well as expanding on the animals in total. One thing that was missing in Kenshi 1 was mounts. Having mounts, of course, would be really nice. With mounts, too, there's also stuff like crossbows and using swords on them, so there's a lot of other stuff that just goes into mounts as well, I can see it going well. And of course, other than animals, we need boats. Why the hell can't we party with the boats and hoes in Kenshi yet? What the hell? Okay, the boats will be wet when I'm riding them through the water. And there's a huge lack of drug dealers, drug addicts, you know, just general degenerates. I mean, I know it's 2020, but like, can we get some pimps and prostitutes in Kenshi? Like, what the fuck, man? I've seen it pulled off in a lot of other games too, you know? Pillars of Eternity had something like that. I know Fallout has had a lot of stuff like that. And just ways that maybe they can be like their own factions, you know? Like, say the drug dealers in a certain city, they'll be trying to like compete over territory or something, or say if you start selling drugs in that city, you gotta go through a gang of fucking angry ass shack drug dealers <laughs> oh my god that'd be nuts that'd be killer okay plus like playing through kenshi just as a slaver is already badass and fun alone playing through kenshi as a pimp <laughs> you imagine the trials and tribulations fucking butthead bug man has to go through the pimp and actually i want to go on to sort of uh, the vague quests in the game. I don't know how to describe it, but in Kenshi, we do have a lot of quests and different information that's given to us from the NPCs in the world, yet none of it is really written down or like we have to do at a certain point. I think I want to call it something like a butterfly effect. Kenshi has done it really well to the point where if you do something in the world, something else is going to happen in a different point. Having something that's like a written down quest log where you just have to follow a map marker and get to somewhere, is not as exciting. Opening up Kenshi for the first time and being told about these crazy monsters, leviathans from that guy Hobbs, that was honestly dope. A lot of the things in Kenshi are just kind of like thrown in there and might happen or might not. It makes for every time I play, just I really don't know what to expect sometimes. Before I give some closing thoughts, there are a few more things I want to go over. Of course, I've been thinking about the skills in Kenshi. While I don't think any character should get maybe like skill trees or something like that. The skills in Kenshi, when looking at them, it's very hard to figure out what kind of new skills we could have. Something like mounting would have to be under a whole new skill tree. <laughs> you, you know your boy's level 100 at that shit. <laughs> Got him, Croc, good job! I've thought about maybe a social or communication type skill, something that relates to talking to NPCs and unlocking dialogue or getting past, say, guards at the gates. Or we could also have like bartering, okay? So you go to a shop, maybe the prices are a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on your barter skill. Also, I just like to have the world feel more real. So I definitely want it to be more like if I sell a town a bunch of high tier armor and weapons, maybe they all get a little bit stronger, start using those weapons. If I go into a town and maybe sell a bunch of hash or a bunch of blood rum, then I'll start going there and people will be fucked up or like passed out on the streets or something. You know? I definitely want there to be a little bit more ways that it feels like I can like fuck with the towns or help them out too. And lastly, I want to go over hunger, hydration, and sleep. I thought about hydration and sleep for a little bit at the start of Kenshi and I still think it definitely maybe shouldn't be in the normal game. 
We already got a lot to manage with all of our characters, and it sets itself apart seeing as we're mainly just managing their hunger. For something more like a hardcore survival playthrough though, I would definitely like to see an option to say have thirst or have sleep, or even have it be moddable so that people can mod in new skills or new traits, new health bars, stuff like that. Now I'm not saying that I want all of these things to be in Kenshi 2 for sure, these are just things that I've thought of and thought would be pretty cool if they're added in Kenshi 2 or maybe thought about. Those are just the things my brain has been able to come up with when thinking about this new world of Kenshi 2. Oh, that takes place in a thousand years before of already pre-existing world. You know what I fucking mean? I could go on about Kenshi 2 or Kenshi for fucking ever, but I won't do that. I feel like I got most of the points or most of the things that I thought about out, so I hope you guys did like this video. If you want to see more Kenshi 2 videos, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I got lots of other Kenshi content and content on other games as well, so feel free to check that out. Either way though, feel free to talk about all of your Kenshi 2 wish list ideas or things that you want to see in Kenshi 2. And with that, I'm gonna be out of here, so have a good one, thanks for watching the video, and peace.